two sets in a row. Pog champ. I don't actually know who QT plays. Do you know? QT. Ken Ryu. Oh, yeah. I played this guy in bracket one time. I think he played Ken Ryu in uh, Pokemon Trainer. Oh, these are the cameos I live for. We're about to get a scream. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, he didn't do it on Q. That's very sad. Breezy Pop and Teacup Rhinoceros. Teacup Rhinoceros. Teacup Rhinoceros. That is a username. All right, so hopping into game one here, we have Quam versus Ryu. I'm not gonna lie, this seems like a really hard matchup for Ryu. And starting out, we can clearly see that. Um, I'm pretty sure Ken Ryu are two characters that are kind of seen as some of the worst characters in this game. Uh, them along with like Little Mac. Um, And Chromacine is like obviously like one of the best. It's gotten a little worse since his up B was nerfed, but okay. I'm actually kind of surprised Kenny made it back right there, but it's all good. Chris is yelling at people yet again about desyncing, but Omega in complete control of this stage and manages to, I think that was the two frame, the uh, Ken's recovery right there, not Ken, uh, Ryu's recovery right there. Yeah, all, all Omega needs is one hit on this, on this Ryu and it is a very easy percent for him, for sure. Already at 90% is QT here. Really struggling to get back on stage. Okay, but we, we take those with the F smashes, okay. Super armor not helping him right there. I think it's super armor or something, like some kind of armor, or no knockback, or I don't know. Anyway, didn't help him with that F smash right there, and he dies anyway. Good Lord, Omega. Just won't get off of the Ryu right now. Uh, unfortunately, um, I can't say what that move is called in the in the correct way, but that move missed him at the opposite direction, the spinny, spinny kick. It seems like Omega is just absolutely punishing the fact that Ryu doesn't have great ways to come back up on stage. His vertical recovery is good, but Krom is too good at edge guarding a Ryu. Oh, and the counter right there, busting it down. Probably could have done that earlier, but wanted to save it for the final stock of the game. So Mega taking game one there, pretty convincingly. Yeah, it seems like Omega's game plan is really to just uh, keep Ryu off stage. Well, nope, playing Ken this time for reasons unknown. As I'm pretty sure there's no significant gameplay difference between Ryu and Ken. Why does OBS say it's only picking up audio from my mic? There we go. <laughs> Okay, QT starting out with a pretty sizable lead here, actually. Okay, all right, QT all to a great start here, managing to catch him with that up B and actually killing him.
Man, the switch to Ken has been uh, really good. Mega got to find some way to answer back, because right now, QT is running it up on him. That smash not quite enough to kill from that position on the stage, but that back, I think it was the back air, back air or forward air, catching him as he comes back up to the ledge. How do you say that, by the way? The the spinny kick move? How do you how do you physically say that? I, I call it a tatsu. A tatsu? Yeah. What does that mean? Tatsu Maki Sempukia. It's something about hurricane kick. Okay. Yeah. So for some reason, even though there's no significant gameplay difference between Ryu and Ken, Ken is working out a lot better than Ryu was. Today I learned you can cancel the, the Tatsu. Not quite reading that roll right. Misses the F smash. Mega trying really hard to not let uh, QT get a significant lead on him. And no tech means death from Krom. Okay, we got some down throw combos. Okay, Gucci being really good about that uh, super slash regular armor on that move, uh, managing to get himself down from the air against Krom. Oh, back air, not quite enough to take it. Oh, but that back air will indeed take it. The semi-clean 2-0 from Omega. For some reason, Ken worked out a lot better than Ryu.